Donald Trump wasn't the only former president in the area today. Former Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton joined President Biden for a major campaign fundraiser at Radio City tonight. That's right. And if you had to drive anywhere near Midtown, you felt the gridlock because of it. Fox 5 Sharon Crowley is live outside of Radio City Music Hall with how things stand right now at 10.05. Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, walking around Midtown wasn't any easier than driving today. You know, it's not very often you see a former president, two former presidents, and the current president's names in the marquee here at Radio City Music Hall. But that's exactly what happened tonight as a major Democratic fundraising event took place that was several hours long. In fact, it's just wrapping up now. And as you can imagine, there was a ton of security and a ton of traffic. Getting around Midtown proving to be challenging on this night, the rain seeming to make things even worse. Donette learning that the hard way. How's it been? Terrible. We've been rerouted 100 times. Can't get down the street. They tell you to go down, and here we are. Sixth Avenue near Radio City Music Hall and Rockefeller Center locked down and nearly impassable. Streets barricaded, security tight, and the NYPD out in force. President Biden and former Presidents Obama and Clinton are in New York City for a political fundraiser. President Biden giving Obama a lift on Air Force One, the two landing earlier today at JFK. It's kind of exciting, though. We've never seen them, so it's, it's cool. Tickets start at $250 and go up to half a million. The star-studded event is expected to raise $25 million. The more you spend, the closer you get to the candidate and his high-powered friends. This Biden supporter worries her ticket might be in the cheap seats. Are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so do you think you'll get to see three living presidents up close? <laughs> um, not very close, I don't think, depending on the ticket that I got. <laughs> Hundreds of protesters also showing up here. Demonstrators object to the war in the Middle East, chanting their opposition across the street from Radio City Music Hall. Only ticket holders are allowed to attend the hours-long private event. This Democratic fundraiser is one of the largest so far. President Biden is still in a tight race with the presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump. However, Biden is outpacing Trump so far when it comes to raising money. This high wattage party will only widen Biden's lead when it comes to fundraising. And after the president and the former presidents left uh, Radio City Music Hall, First Lady Jill Biden hosted an after party for 500 paying guests. The idea to raise as much money as possible during this presidential election campaign. And if you're still out and about in Midtown, there's one other thing you should know. Uh, president Biden is heading back to Washington, D.C. tonight, and he's leaving from JFK. So you can just imagine the route from Midtown to JFK. We'll also have road closures and, yes, more traffic. I'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Sharon, thank you so much.